to the best of Tokyo part three and we turn to one of the highlights of the evening session on the final day the women's 1500 meters final the metric mile and uh, all of the main protagonists through to this final much interest on Hasiba Bulmerka of Algeria outstanding on the Grand Prix circuit and uh, a rarity in an Arab nation lady favored to do well in a final Susan Serma of Kenya was having a first run out in this event, having already taken bronze in the 3,000 metres, and we're looking at Dorovskik, who'd already won that uh, 3,000 metres. A very cool competitor who waits and waits and waits, and then finally kicks. And this lady, now 35 years of age, a veteran in athletics terms, Doina Malinte, the Olympic champion from 1984, and a prolific racer whose uh, very best days may be behind her, eighth on the all-time list, but uh, possibly still a force to be reckoned with in this the world championship final three and three quarter laps of the track also in there Letitia Vrizda of Suriname the two Romanian competitors Beklia and uh, Malinte it was who took up the running on the inside of the curb there as soon as Susan Sturmer uncharacteristic, uncharacteristically dropped to the back Kirsty Wade second to back at this point coming back from the birth of her first child in 1989 and this her first major games final since then had done well in qualifying and was keeping British hopes alive at this point on the outside there in the dark vest of the United States Patty Sue Plummer the uh, American lawyer based in California Stanford graduate who was dropping down a distance from her favored event the 5,000 meters where she is American record holder but there's Paul Merker in the green of Algeria as they go through 300 meters with three laps to go Rogachova of the Soviet Union taking them through first lap completed in a highly respectable 66 seconds then there's a bit of daylight to Malinte then Bulmerka then Beklia and then Dorovskik and Susan Surma comes out wide and round because the Africans love to be in the front forcing the pace just running freely and Surma had decided that uh, her days of hanging back from this race albeit that this would be her fourth middle distance final in the course of these championships decided that she would play her part and take up the running So still Rogachova, the 24-year-old Soviet competitor, fourth in split, and the world indoor champion of 1991, leading from Surma, then Malinte, then Bulmerka, and then on the outside of the shot there, Patty Sue Plummer, winner of the Fifth Avenue Mile in New York last autumn. Great contrast in styles and strides there. You can see the tall, stalking figure of Malinte in third place, and a much rangier action of Susan Surma in second arms pumping great natural talent Surma she's raced everywhere it seems in the last 12 months she started the New York City Marathon and uh, who would have thought that a lady running a marathon in October would be in a world championship 1500 meters just eight months later she didn't finish that marathon but uh, a prolific racer on the American road racing scene the European cross-country scene and latterly the Grand Prix circuit in Europe. She didn't contest the Kenyan sudden death trials in Nairobi last month, but they added her to the team nonetheless. She's already rewarded the selectors with a bronze medal, and she it was that decided to take up the running as they approached the bell. Rogachova on the inside there, but Surma coming through for Kenya. Malinte covered that, and the diminutive figure of Hasiba Bulmerka of Algeria, number two in the world for 1991. Could she take a medal as Dorovskik ominously moves through to cover the pace as she always does? Very unemotional, clinical, calculating. Dorovskik there on the outside, just going by her countryman, countrywoman, Rogachova. So 300 meters to go this time. Surma stretching them out. Malinte sticking closely to her. Bulmerka just two strides off the pace, but working well. And Dorovskik on the outside, already through two rounds of 3,000 meters before she even entered this competition. Then it's Rogachova and the others starting to struggle as the pace hots up. Malinte took up the running as they uh, rounded the bend, uh, preparing to come into the straight for the final time. It's not often that Malinte could be threatened from this position. Dorovskik was just where she likes to be at this stage in a race, but going well also. Bulmerka, Hasibol Bulmerka of Algeria, and at this point she made her run for home. Her bid for World Championship glory began at 70 metres, 
and it ends right here on the line. Bulmerka of Algeria, a delighted world champion in a very good time. Second, Dorovskik fails to add a second gold to that middle distance title that she took in the 3,000 metres earlier in the week. And uh, Rogachova took third, but completely overcome. Congratulated by Letitia Vriza there from Suriname, another of the emerging nations. But Bulmerka, well, you can hear her, absolutely thrilled to be champion of the world. And who would have thought 10 years ago that an Algerian lady would be the world 1500 meter champion. Dorovskik, well, unemotional, walks away. Malinte, perhaps her best days are behind her. Not too many more championships left in her. But plenty to come from this lady. Hasaba Bulmerka of Algeria, the world champion. And so overcome that she carried the flag upside down. Kirsty Wade had a great run for Great Britain. A return to uh, very close to her best form, the British record holder. She ran 4.05 for a great sixth place, but that was three seconds down and a critical three seconds behind Hasaba Bulmerka with that inspired run for home in the straight and milking the adulation for all it's worth. flag still upside down nobody minded too much about that when you're world champion you can carry the flag just how you like she had to do it the tough way she had to beat Malinte at her own game Malinte of course leading into the straight and she also also had to neutralize that finishing kick of Dorovsky it may have been weakened by three events going into this final but Dorovsky was where she liked to be and this woman still had to outkick her down the closing straight. There you can see that Malinte was holding pole position as they came into the straight. Dorovskik with that uh, minimal arm action there in third place. Poised, never makes much of a contribution to a race, prefers to sit and wait until the final straight. But this time she was outgunned by the little lady from Algeria. And uh, she just strode away down that finishing straight. Inspired piece of running. And perhaps at the end of the day, Bulmerka wanted it more than Dorovsky, who already has one title to her credit and plenty more under her maiden name of Samalenko. And their confirmation of a great personal best for Rogachova for bronze but uh, less wanting in that finishing straight albeit by five tenths of a second behind the new world champion Bulmerka and a great run by Kirsty Wade for Great Britain 4.05 for sixth and Surma gamely battling to sixth place following on from her bronze medal at 3,000 metres there's the concentration and there's the elation from Bulmerka I'll be back.